it looks like and feels like a manic Monday for Tuesday after the long weekend, which was one of the better ones that we've seen across Northeast Ontario in a long time. Jonathan Kovac and Tim, thanks for tuning in. Saturday, we got rid of our week-long frontal boundary with one location of reporting any thunderstorms right here in Timmins. This Tuesday morning after the long weekend, overcast skies over Timmins, clear breaks over Earlton just before 8, 9 a.m. Earlton's automated weather station is now reporting some intermittent light rain in that region. In fact, the rain could be scattered throughout a good portion of the viewing area. It's affecting mostly the Timmins Cochrane district for right now. Our friends up north in the Nanawapiskat Moosonee, low overcast skies, temperatures there are varying as well from. I want to see single digits over to double digits depending on where you live. You'll look at the observations after this report. Our systems map for today, well, we got rid of one frontal boundary. We welcome another week of another frontal boundary. Light breeze from the southwest this morning at 15 k's an hour, just like so. In fact, we can watch the cloud cover moving up from the Great Lakes. And the barometer has taken a big tumble from this past weekend, 29.73. 120 kilopascals, which is a few points below the norm. What these lines simply represent is a trapped air mass. It's warm, cool air aloft, mostly the warm air with a little bit of humidity as well because our dew points are quite high this morning. And that will affect northeast Ontario with the risk of some active non severe weather for today. In fact, we put the cloud cover into motion and show you what's going on. The cloud cover pretty much there's a chunk of it over the U.S. Midwest, which is moving from southwest to northeast over northeast Ontario. And you saw that cold front sitting north of the 49th parallel. That's this cloud trailing from west to east. So that convergence point is right over here over northeast Ontario. And last but not least, before we say goodbye for the morning report, the radar picture early this morning from 5 a.m. till about 7 a.m. There's a band of showers which affected the Tibbins area a little bit just north of Cochrane as well. This first batch has moved off towards the east, leaving us with some overcast conditions and drier weather for now. Stay tuned now for the observations, including updated forecasts and the forest fire index for this morning.